Church need a voice in the parliament. Listen, in as much as we stay in the four corners of the church, the ungodly will rule us. The Bible says, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. And we're going to pray that the Lord will send some of us. You're going to pray that, listen to me, God can send anybody and it can, it can be you. You don't need to be a pastor to go to the state house. I'm not interested in the state house. My calling is to go and change your lives. But God can send you to the state house. It can be you, it can be you. So when you say pray for the church, that there be a voice in the Gambia coming out from the church. There are fathers in Nigeria. When they speak, the government of Nigeria hears. We need fathers in the Gambia. Oh God, raise up a man in this nation that will speak and establish your council. Raise up a man in the Gambia. A man like a bishop. My God. Person in the house. Faki Fafaha. Etonta, Etonta. Leba, Katia, Katia, Katia. Father, let's open man in the Gambia. In the name of Jesus Christ. Do it the church in the Gambia in force. A voice that will silence the voice of the enemy. The young body will not rule over us. The Bible says in the book of Leviticus, chapter number 26, and verse number 42. The Bible says, if you obey my word, the ungodly and these things they will not come upon me. We are going to pray that God will raise some men of authority into our government in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. La Kataye Gamataka, Shakatiya Bade, La Prasanta Yabada, Shakia Toko, Akutatiya Bade, Shaki Baba, La Kwatete, Shatatata, Shakatiya Bade. Thank you, Father. We declare and we declare, God, in this nation of the Gambia, we will not be suppressed. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, church, quickly, let's pray. This nation will not be an Islamic state. Let's pray. The agenda to Islamize the Gambia. Man of God, hold your hands. They are cancelled. In the name of Jesus Christ. The agenda of the wicked to Islamize this nation. We speak as a church and we say they are cancelled. This nation will not be an Islamic state. In the name of Jesus Christ, we forbid every evil law. We Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Jump your hands with Jesus. Jump your hands with Jesus. Amen. That was a wonderful session. We are moving to another part. But before that, I was telling you, you see it. I'm not going to spare no. Not even. I'm not going to spare anyone. <laughs> Friendly, I'm not going to spare you from mine. Let me let her tell you something. Yes, yes. <laughs> Don't look at that. Praise God. So please go 
back and get your, your help yourself. The Bible says in Genesis 47 verse 15 that when money failed, Joseph has an idea of how to raise money. So how to keep building on how to keep the economy of Egypt. Sure. So please, money is failing us. That's why this thing comes. So we need to help one another. We are all Gambians. Let's not be wicked, please. If you if you if you think you are not going to drink it, man, give your friend. Praise God. At this moment, we are going to call on the visionary, the man that God gave the vision for this. It is one thing to have a vision, but it's another thing to give the vision. This is a man that is been, that has blessed many of us. Some of us still standing today is because God has used it to be closer to us. It's a man that God is using to raise giants in this country. And he's a very humble man. Please help me be on your feet, please. You know, my team with the Gambian church is this. Praise God. Love for Jesus. Amen. Let's uh, continue, Emmanuel. Praise God. Uh, my father should have been here tonight. Reverend Bidwell Mendy should have been here with us this night, but something came up so he wouldn't be able to be here. So I know most of us might feel bad that he. He wasn't able to make it, but we still give God the glory. Amen. He's a wonderful man of God. He has been a father to many and also in this nation. So wherever he is, I want to tell him thank you for, for raising and started this because he actually started the, the school fellowship. He started going around the schools. Please change the back of that mic so that I can have it. He started going around the schools and uh, some years ago. He handed it to me. And then later, the Lord said, expand the vision. Reach out to other schools. That's how we started. And this is last year, we, that was the first time we gathered schools. And this is our second time. So we are trusting God that the more uh, we continue. The more we have schools coming in. Amen. Praise God. So I'll just give you a short charge and then we pray. Is that okay by you? Huh? Is that okay by you? Amen. But before we proceed, yes, I want you to help me celebrate Pastor Andrew again. He was in the Silga Youth uh, Saints in the Light Glorious Assembly. This pastor was the one that blessed us that came to charge this place on Thursday night. How many of us were blessed on Thursday night? Huh? How many of us were blessed on Thursday night? Amen. So, 
Pastor Rene is the pioneer, the founder of Sense in the Light Glorious Assembly. The church is just opposite St. Kizito Square Gote. Amen. Pastor, Andrew, Pastor, Pastor uh, Andrew is here with us this night. And with a lovely wife. Is Amen. They say behind every successful man, there is what? It's a woman. So you see this man doing well. It's because Mama, Mama is beside him. So Mama, can you stand up and let them see you? Stand up and let them see you. Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? Huh? Isn't this beautiful? This is beautiful. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, Pastor Jaju is also there. Pastor Jaju, can you put up your hand? Pastor Jaju, celebrate Pastor Jaju. He was here with us yesterday. Amen. And next to him is uh, Elder James. Good next to him, Mendy. Elder James, Elder James, can you put up your hand? Let me see you. Amen. And then next to him is uh, Pastor Louis. Yeah, we must be grateful. I pray the grace of God to his life. Amen. And then we also have uh, Pastor Francis. Yes. Celebrate the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Pastor Francis is here with us this night. Praise God. Amen. And then uh, Uncle Ibrahim is here. I saw you running. to fix this thing. The wife is behind, Mommy Nalita Sanya, yeah, celebrate her. Now, touch you then, come. And celebrate yourselves. Yeah, touch you then, send you more, also help me celebrate Emmanuel and Daniel. Touch you then, Emmanuel and Daniel. The instrumentalist. Yeah, and not forgetting my beautiful choir. Yeah, then you fuck this, you Put your hands together for them. Your I this, this night, after the meeting, I'll take you for dinner. Yay! Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll take them for dinner this night. We are ready, sir. Amen. Celebrate the choir again. Touch them, Karami. Celebrate the choir. Touch them, Mubahaba. Amen. Also celebrate yourself. Touch them, Sani Bopo. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, let's buy heads and pray. Siku Sani Bopo Nyan. Father, we thank you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Thank you for this night. Thank you for this moment. Holy Spirit, we know you are here. We know you are here, Holy Spirit. We know you are here. Want to experience your lordship tonight, Spirit of God. We want to experience your move. Breathe upon us the breath of life. Quicken every part of us and quicken everybody seated here this night. That at the end we'll give you glory. That we pray that sickness will not survive your presence tonight. Witchcraft will not survive your presence tonight. Demonic powers will not survive your presence tonight. And we also pray that you will feel those that are hungry. You feel them with your spirit, oh Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I also pray that you help me to be precise to your people. Help me to be precise to your children this night. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, the text is from Isaiah 32, verse 15. If you have your Bible, you can open. If you don't have your Bible, it's projected on the screen there. The Bible says, On the Bible says, until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high, 
and the wilderness be a fruitful field. And the fruitful field be counted for a forest. This is where the text of this meeting is derived. But before this text, from verse 1 down to verse 14, there was a scary pronouncement that was made over the land of Israel. That there was going to be a desolation. Thorns and prayers would take over the field. The jackals of the field will inhabit the land. The houses of people will be desolate and forsaken. Because the Lord was going to give his back to the land. And anything that the Lord gives his back to begins to die. That was why Jesus, even Jesus on the cross, he couldn't have died until the Lord turns his back on him. Because if God do not turn his back on him, he cannot die. Because anything that comes in contact with the face of God receives life. And at the end, the father had to give his back to the son. And the son cried out. He said, my father, my father, why have you forsaken me? It is at that moment that his death began. Amen. Amen. And the land of Israel was going to be forsaken. The Bible says in verse 6, for the vile person will speak villainy. And his heart will walk iniquity. To practice hypocrisy and to utter error against the Lord. To make empty of the soul, to, to make empty the soul of the hungry. And he will cause the, the drink of the test to fail. These pronouncements are scary. And I don't think there is a people that want to go through such an experience. I don't think there is anyone seated here this night that want to experience. And such these things. Amen. Amen. But the Bible says that the, the nation of Israel has no choice. They do not have an option. But such a disaster was going to take over the land. Such a proclamation was going to come to pass. And these things, the desolation will continue. The land will be desolate, forsaken, and barren. Horns will take over the place. Nothing that is grown on the field will prosper. Everywhere will be dry. There is going to be a famine and, a, and the place will be torn into a wilderness. Every, the, street, the trees of the field will wither and die. Everything will be stripped bare. Nothing will survive in the land. And anything you sow to the ground will not cheat. The Bible says this kind of catastrophe will continue. Amen. It will continue until something happens until the spirit of God is poured on us from on high then the desolation will become a fruitful field and even the fruitful field will be counted for a forest now the ministry of the Holy Spirit will be experienced upon the land not just the people but the land will experience revival the soil will experience revival the trees of the field will experience revival every creation of God is going to experience revival after the spirit of God is born on us from on high that's why the Bible says that even the whole creation grown it in pain the whole creation grown it in pain the creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God the Bible says the creation itself was subjected into futility the creation is subjected into vanity not by its own will but by the will of him that subjected it in hope. So the creation itself will be delivered. 
but the bondage of spirit. corruption in the into the glorious liberty of the sons of God. I want to announce to you this night that Gunjur is waiting for you to rise. Berenik is waiting for you to rise. Sifo is waiting for you to rise. Kiti is waiting for you to rise. Rikama is waiting for you to rise. Lamin is waiting for you to rise. Harato is waiting for you to rise. Serakuda is waiting for you to rise. The Bible says that the creation groaneth in pain, waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. It is time for you to rise. It is the season for the sons of God to rise. Because only the Holy Spirit can do that. Listen to me. Over the years, the Lord made me to understand something. Because the Lord quoted the same words that Samson uttered in the book of Judges. When he gave the riddle, one day I was praying and heard the Lord say, Out of the strong, something sweet, and out of the eater, something to eat. At the end of the riddle, we noticed that honey was found in a carcass. There is, there is honey on the inside of you. But until you become a carcass, that honey will not reproduce. So for you to bring out the honey, the best in you, you must become a carcass. Except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies. It remains but single. You must, you must reach the height of death. And that is aided by the ministry of the Holy Spirit. So that you can reach that level. Where something sweet will come out of you. Amen. 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 The ministry of the Holy Spirit is needed for every child of God. That was why yesterday we made, we create time for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And some people were baptized. And they spoke with new tongues. This is what is needed for every one of you seated here. And we promise you that those that have not received last night, we will create the same opportunity for you this night again. Amen. Amen. Because until the Spirit is poured on us from on high, the wilderness they counted for a fruitful field. The wilderness they counted for a fruitful ground. So you need the ministry of the Holy Spirit. You walk with God. You must allow the government of the Spirit. If there is anything you should be hungry for, it should be the Holy Spirit. It should be the Holy Spirit. It should be the Holy Spirit. In John chapter 14, verse 6, Jesus said, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, He shall teach you all things. One of the reason why you need the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And one of his ministries is a teaching ministry. The Holy Spirit does a teaching ministry. He's the one that teaches you. He's the one that teaches you. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and access over the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved over the face of the water. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. The Bible says, Now the Lord is the Spirit. Where the Spirit 
spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Galatians chapter 5, 16, the Bible says, walk in the spirit and he shall not gratify the desires of the sinful nation. Micah chapter 3, verse 8, the Bible says, but truly I am full of power because of the spirit of the Lord. Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6, says not by mind nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18, the Bible says, and be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be ye filled with the Holy Spirit. Genesis 2, verse 7, the Bible says, and the Lord formed man from the dust of the ground, and breathe, breathe the breath of life into his nostrils, and man became a living being. The word breathe means ruach, and the Lord ruach into man, and man became a living being. It is that ruach that you need to become a living being. That ruach, that breath, that breath part, the breath of life. That breath that of life that breath of life the Hebrew word is called nefesh. The Hebrew word is called nefesh. The breath of life, the Hebrew word is called nefesh. Neshama. The Hebrew word is Neshama. Neshama is the purest aspect of the soul. And this part of the soul is almost one with God. Amen. This is why the Bible says, For I have said, ye are God. It is because of the Neshama, the breath of life, that resides on the inside of you, that qualifies you to be a God. Amen. But it is only when the ministry of the Holy Spirit is experienced in your life, that you begin to embark on a journey. You step on the path of becoming a God. Hallelujah. Amen. In Zechariah chapter 10, verse 1, the Bible says, Ask ye the Lord for it. In the times of the latter rain, that the Lord might make bright clouds and send forth rain to everyone grass in the field. This text is talking about revival. And we are going to experience the rain of the Spirit tonight. Yes, we are going to experience the rain of the Spirit. The Spirit of God is going to rain. Last night, I told you there are three levels of the Holy Spirit. The first level of the Holy Spirit is the wet level. The second level of the Holy Spirit is the river level. And the third level of the Holy Spirit is the rain level. And tonight we are experiencing the rain level of the Spirit. I say we are experiencing the rain level of the Spirit. And the rain of level of the Holy Spirit is broken into two. That's what we call the former rain. And that's what we call the latter rain. Listen, in Acts chapter 2, what took place there was the former rain. But what is going to take place in our age and generation, it is called the latter rain. It is called the latter rain. Listen, it is this rain that makes men drown. It is this rain that makes men plunge into so deep waters, where the glory of God is on board, because the Bible says that they that do business in deep waters, they have seen the glory of God. It is when the rain of the Spirit comes, it is when the rain of the Spirit comes, that the wells are straight back, that the rivers are filled. Listen, 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 I told you that the first level is the well level. Do you know that even wells Prepare yourself. 
a great harvest. He got me. The Bible says, ask for the Lord. Let tell you ask the Lord. Let tell you for the rain. Even the latter rain. That the Lord might make bright clouds. And send rain. For every one grass if you don't know think. Tonight is a night of rain. They oh. even need to work to tell. I told you last night that we can be drunk but not by the wine of the heart because nothing of the heart can satisfy a man that is something we call the wine of the spirit this is the wine that God in the heart of men who are they that are long at wine so who is the redness of eyes belongs it is him that carries long in wine when you study in the presence of the Holy Ghost, the redness of eyes becomes your possession. Then you hope. It is the Holy Ghost. Help me. Only the Holy Ghost. Help me. They can transform a man. Only the Holy Ghost. Help me. They can convert a soul. Only the Holy Ghost. Help me. They can change a man. Jesus said yes, that now is the judgment of this world. Now is the prince of this world. Let him away what to happen. And I, if I be lifted up, would I, I would would draw all men I hit you unto myself. Zimmer. In John chapter 6, verse 63, Zimmer. it says for flesh and blood, would they hear me yet at nothing? Would they have it is them. the spirit would they help me that quicken it? Because it's worse I speak to you. you. Do you my word? They are spirit. Would they help me? They are alive. In Romans chapter 8, verse 1, verse 1, it says, Therefore, when you see there is now no condemnation unto men that walk in the spirit, and they go after the flesh, you do for the law of the spirit of life, which is in Christ Jesus, has made me free from the law of sin and death. The Bible says that they that walk in the spirit, the law of the spirit, and in verse 11, the scripture says, in the spirit of him that raised Christ from the dead, turns in you, that raised Jesus from the dead, will give life unto your mortal body. The other day Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the law of anointed me, the first of which glue glue to the poor, for he covered the sight of the eye. That in the beginning, there was darkness, but the Spirit of God moves. Only the Spirit of God knows the terrain of life. Because from the very beginning of creation, he has been introduced. In your walk with God, allow the Holy Ghost hold your hand and take you through the path and the terrain of life. Because he is the Spirit of God. He is the spirit of sanity. He is the spirit of fire. He is the spirit of holiness. He is omnipotent. He is omniscient. He is omnipresent. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of Jesus. The Holy Ghost is the spirit of the Father. By wherever the spirit dwells, there is liberty. Power. You cannot be no man. Don't make it to know when the Holy Ghost why hell we are, comes upon your life. You cannot be the same. Don't make it man. when the Holy Ghost when the hell we are, comes upon your life. The Bible says in the Gospel of Luke that the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him that you will be conceived with the Son. Then you will be conceived and you will be conceived and you will be conceived and you shall give back to him and shall call his name Emmanuel. And Mary asked the angel, how shall these things be? Seeing that I am not exposed to a man. But the angel of the Lord said to her, that the Spirit of God will come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Power. Listen, the word overshadow, it means to cast image to cast a shadow on an object in order to hide it. The other word of overshadow means to brood. The 
Professor. The brood. The professor. The brood. The professor. The brood. The professor. Like a head brood over her head. The Holy Ghost wants to see you. Nana, me. How are you? The Holy Ghost faces you. The head sits on the head. We're going to be talking to you. For 21.2 days. We are supposed to move on. In order to generate heat. We need to generate heat. The necessary heat. We need to generate heat. So that the eggs will hatch. That the nanny put the eggs. When the mother egg sits on the eggs. We need to put toggles in it. Because of the heat and the temperature. That go up for the egg. That semi liquid jelly inside the egg. We need to get to the egg. Non lay man. And it begins to develop. Non lay man. And it begins to form into a. Non lay man. The fire dumps. Do you hear me? The gloom. The gift of God is upon your life. The fire yellow circle. The grace of God is upon your life. The fire yellow circle. But you need the fruiting of the spirit. The circle. The spirit of God. The fire fruit over you. The fire dumps circle. And generate fire. Put it in the face of the suffer. So that that gift that the man who picks it, but that the one who. Only the Holy Ghost can do that. But help me read more clearly. So tonight, basic good is you need an asshole, the Spirit. Help me. You need the Spirit. An asshole, help me. You need the Spirit. An asshole, help me. You need the Spirit. An asshole, help me. The Bible says. How do you have it? In Judges chapter six verse six thirty three, when the second we come them go here, and the Midianites, when the one Midianites, and the Amalekites, when the Amalekites, that that against Israel, you daddy prepare some bumper squad of Israel, when the Jazri, when the Finto go no Jazri, when they gathered against Israel, when they would not come for prayer, the Bible says in Galatians thirty four. The spirit of the Lord came upon Gideon, and he blew the trumpet. And the sons of Israel gathered around him. You prepare a man to blow a trumpet. And a nation gathered. And I want to challenge my fellow ministers. The blowing of the trumpet is the message we get when we preach until the spirit of God comes upon us. The sound will never be heard. Only the Holy Ghost can come upon us and we'll be able to properly blow this message. Only the Holy Ghost. Help me, Rick. Only the Holy Ghost. Help me, Rick. Only the Holy Ghost. Help me, Rick. You see, there are manifestations of the Spirit. When I'm the one who helps you, Salam. The Spirit. Help me. Symbols like wind. I'm not the one. Symbols of the Holy Spirit. Fire, rain, water, clouds, and dove. You like pictures? These are symbols of the Holy Spirit. Help me, Rick. Help me, Salam. In Exodus 14, the Bible says Moses stretched his arm Moses over the sea, and the Lord caused an east wind and he parted the sea. That was not just an east wind. That was the Holy Ghost. It was the Holy Ghost that parted the sea. It was the Holy Ghost that parted the Red Sea. In Psalms 48 verse 7, when it's the Bible says that thou breakest the seeds of Tarsus with an east wind. Call me a gauge, a sangelon. The yoke of darkness upon your life. When it's lit, bring them to me. It is only the Holy Ghost that can break it. Let me bring more coin to me. That's why in Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 says, On that day, when it shall come to pass, that the yoke shall be broken, that the burden shall be lifted, and the yoke shall be destroyed, because of the anointing. It is the anointing that breaks the yoke. In Song of Solomon chapter 4 verse 16, the Bible says, Awake, O wind, blow upon my garden, Worship is your garden. 
Magal be the Fanek. If you are a prayer warrior, prayer is your guardian. If you are a preacher and a teacher of the world, that is your guardian. If you are an evangelist, that is your guardian. In any area you find yourself in, that is your guardian. But listen, for the fragrance of your garden to flow out, there is a need for the wind to sell. The wind was blow. Upon your garden. The wind was blow. Listen. Let me say this and close. Do you know the Hamlet that even in the act of Noah, when a man see a display of what we're talking about this night was was revealed to us. Because the Bible says Noah said to do two kind of Brothers. He sent a rabbit and he sent a dove. When Noah sent out the rabbit, these two birds is a picture of the Holy Spirit and the devil. The rabbit is a picture of the devil. The door of Noah said, is a picture of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, when Noah sent out the rabbit, the rabbit went and never returned. And 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 the rabbit went and never returned. If you read that text in Genesis chapter 8, the Bible says, and the rabbin, the rabbin went to the earth. That movement is exact movement of the devil. In Genesis chapter 8, God asked Satan, where is coming from? He said, moving to and throw the earth. Moving to and throw the earth. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 8, and the rabbin went to and throw the earth. And never returned back to Noah. And Noah sent the dove. And the Bible says, and the dove, because the water covered the archway, and the dove could not land on any tree. And the Bible says, and the dove was hovering. There is a movement of the Holy Spirit. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the earth. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the earth. We need to get to the class. The dove hovers when a pitch be buried in the sea. And Noah sent it a second time. Noah and Daniel go the works. And the dove went out. We pitch it out with them. And it came back in the evening. We had it tell us it was. When when the dove returned, when it come to tell us it was. The Bible said it returned with an olive branch. It returned with an olive branch. The father of Bante Sigemenya. That olive branch is a picture of the anointing. Because the anointing is derived from an olive tree. So the dove came back with an olive branch. It's a picture of the anointing. Amen. Why did the dove return with an olive branch? Because the dove is a picture of the anointing. Amen. Why did the dove come back with an olive branch? Why did the the dove come back with an olive branch? Because there is nobody on the earth that is able to connect with Jesus. That is worthy to carry the olive branch. 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 To carry that anointing, no man was worthy to bear the oil. To bear the anointing, it was only one man that was anointed. And that was Jesus. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's why I said in Luke 4, 18, that the Spirit of God is upon me because the Father has anointed me. Because there was no man that was worthy of that anointing. The Holy Spirit came back with the Holy Branch. Amen. 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 That dove never came back. And as we go through the scriptures, Solomon, Solomon, being a 
lot of mysteries. And a wise man understood that in the ark, comprende ce galgi, the ark of Noah, ce gal noir, there was a dove that left. Amun pichu bude and never came back. Ni udelusi. And Solomon began to ask. Solomon commands and lads. Where is my dove? Ana pichu bude. Where are thou? Ana pichu. Speak to me. Fanga ne kwa. Your voice is sweet. Mune sabi. And your face is comely. Mune sabi. No kana mi. Solomon. Solomon began to search for the moon. That same dove. Solomon commands and lads. Because Solomon understood. Mune commands and lads. That there are two things. I'm not looking at going with his life. I'm not looking at his life. And then the next verse, he said, he said "Catch for me the little foxes that ruins the vineyard." That's the problem. There are little foxes in the lives of some of you. And those little foxes, you need the Holy Ghost to come and catch them. And that was what Solomon said. He said, "Where are they?" My dove, speak to me. For your voice is sweet. That's about me. And your face is calm. Catch for us, the little foxes, the ruins our vineyard. And he said, our vineyard is at bloom. The word bloom is a definition for flowers. When the, flower, when the flowers are opening, when they are opening, when they are opening, when you open, that's when you see their beauty. Non ngi se seni refet. Huh? So the, the definition of the word bloom is 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 the opening up to when the higher perfection of beauty. Every young girl and every young man goes through that stage. It is called the bloom stage. This is the stage you are opening up to a higher perfection of beauty. Your breasts begin to grow. Your hips come out. You begin to have sex. Your legs begin to have chest. Your voice begin to become sick. But bewitch. It is at this stage also. What to do? Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong sexual desire. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for sex. Your sexual appetite increases. You have a strong desire for And Solomon began to seek for this Solomon dove. But the dove was nowhere to be found. It was nowhere to be found. Until the Lord said, "Go to the wilderness and search for the dove." Until the Lord said, "Go to the wilderness and search for the dove." Until the Lord said, "Go to the wilderness and search for the dove." Until the Lord said, "Go to the wilderness and search for the dove." Until the Lord said, "Go to the wilderness and search for the dove." Until the Lord said, "Go to the wilderness and search for the dove." Until the Lord said, "Go to the wilderness and search for the dove." Until the Lord said, The heaven was open, and the Holy Spirit descended in the form of a dove. This was a dove that was missing. The dove that left the ark and never came back because there was no man. It was worthy of the anointing. But at this time, when there was a man on the ark that was worthy of the anointing, and the Bible says, and the heaven opened, and this dove came back. The dove descended on him to be wet. And when he was leaving us, he said, "I will not leave you as a father." Yes, I will give you the promise of the father. I will give, I will give you the comfort, the spirit of the father. He will dwell in you. In the next time, you must be hungry. I go for a hif. The spirit of God. For help me, Allah. You must be hungry. I go for a hif. For the Holy Ghost. For help me, Allah. You must be hungry. I go for a hif. For the spirit of God. For help me, Allah. The scripture says, when the spirit of God comes upon you, help me, Allah. Who watches the come? You shall be converted. You are a witch. You will be converted. You are a witch. Into another man. Sekene nich kumut. Into another man. Sekene kumut. Into another man. Sekene kumut. Some of you, after this program, when you are in fear, malanga joke in fear. 
they will not recognize you again. Yes. Because that is the spirit of God is going to clothe the hell. There is a clothing that we lost. In that in that of of the of the the I am not going to the season. I will not going to the season. I will not going to and you lay on God and and Jesus Jesus said, Tarry, Tarry, Tarry in Jerusalem, in Jerusalem, in Jerusalem, in Jerusalem until you are clothed in first. Yes. And Jesus came yes. back. Yes, we clothed us. And and our first. clothing is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is our clothing. We is our clothing. Our clothing. Our clothing. Is our clothing. For he is the Holy Can you lift up your hand? 
those that want to give their lives to Jesus. They want to say, Jesus, I give you my life from today. Please lift up your hand. And let them come forward, please. Come forward. Let's do that quickly. Let's do that quickly. We want to do this in 20 minutes. You want to give your life to Jesus. You can come. We lead you to Christ. You will see. We lead you to Christ. You will see. We lead you to Christ. You Sit 